Hey, I know it's been a while since I released another video. There's really um, not much that I can do um, other than just, I'm going to go over like free heroes. Um, I noticed that there are players out there that can have all these heroes and I'm going to go over and uh, what heroes you can use, what heroes to level up. You know, the majority of heroes like Headless Horseman, Knight Sentinel, um, Lumia, who else? Uh, what's the other angel? No, not angel. Um, that is it the uh i can't remember she's the one with the astro child there she is so you can use her i'm gonna do a couple of arena battles real quick a team that i've been messing around with it's not necessarily a team that i would say would be good it's a team that i think it could be fun and a team that you can level up like i said here's a team that i've been testing out and the only downfall to this is that if you use this angel, she is only level 70. So that means you most likely will not be able to, because she's not gonna let you hit attack first because of your agility. So I'm gonna go against this player who's usually the, um, the second best player I would say, other than me. And I think I already went against him real quick with this. So I'll go against him real quick. I'll just replay it. So this is me attacking him and why I use Blue Witch and Pyrona just you know they can turn things into sheep plus also this I guess Christmas lady and uh, she can turn them to reindeers. So all in all it's like a, a stall team it's not really okay my headless horseman died but I did not position these heroes good enough. So as you can see here, um, this isn't my strongest team. I don't have them that ruined. Now you can see she can turn heroes into reindeers, like three of them, four of them. Sometimes they don't last long though. I guess that's the resilience. So that's the only downfall to that. The reason why you Lumia is she always pretty much stuns the high attack heroes. And then Astro Trial will be used for like suicide kills I guess so as you can see the reindeers do not last long at all so usually sometimes you might be able to get reindeers and sheep all over the place and the battle is a tad bit longer just because I'm not using any high attacks so and there you go she missed turning them into sheep she also does heal a little bit and gives I guess some type of buff. So, as you can see, he's almost killed me. So he had a panda, hellhound. I'm not trying to use any of those paid heroes, and I'm a tad bit stronger in ruins, so that plays a big role for me winning this battle, really. So other than that, Pyrona is pretty good. Blue Rich could be pretty good. Um, other teams. I think I went against him on another team. So we're gonna go with another team that I use, which is Lumia. I'm not Lumia. Uh, was that Lunar Priest? She didn't get no heals off. I think she died this battle. But Knight's Sentinel is still pretty good, as you can see. Why he's gonna pick everybody off. So you want people that can like you want to use Headless, so you can maybe silence Panda and Nightblade. You know she's pretty good with her bleed attack. So you can see here. He one shots 91k. So if you level up high and max him out in his ruins, he's pretty good. My lunar priest didn't get no heals. So that's I thought I was gonna probably lose this battle. So here he kills Panda and then he's gonna kill the other nice and Tano. So you wanna use you probably don't have to use Headless. But you wanna use two tanks up front so you have enough time to let Knights and Tano just kill everybody. So that's another uh team you can use you don't necessarily need those other teams um, if you want all those other heroes that you have to pay pay for the only difference is you the, the tourney battles um, you probably will not be in top 10 top 5 if that's if that's what you worry about then you're gonna probably have to get those heroes if not then you can stay in the top 10 without having any of those heroes I mean hell they give they gave Hellhound and Minotaur away for free maybe they do that with Panda next 
So other than that, let's see. I think I did real quick. This guy, yeah. This is another uh, attack. This one, the same team with the uh, trying to get a whole bunch of reindeers and sheep's all over the place. Doesn't seem to really work. But I think if she was at least a level 80 angel, it would probably be better. Now, she's maxed at level 70, only 5 stars. So, all the skills are 70, everything's 70. So, Pyrona hits pretty hard too sometimes. But yeah, Lumia could be, this team can be a tad bit annoying, I don't know. Maybe if you max all these heroes out, it could be very annoying. You don't have to use that. Uh, this Christmas angel you can use maybe Flora or if the Liberta Liberty uh, or whatever her name is because since she's easy to get as well so Lumia always stuns the high attack heroes so and she's free she's very easy to get so you don't necessarily need any other heroes and that's a big reindeer back there <laughs> So you see, he's what's his night dwarf, dwarf knight or whatever. He's getting like sheep all over the place. Like he's changing back and forth. Pyrona's changing him. Blue Ridge is changing him. This is like a stall team. Maybe this could be a third, a good third team for Arena. I mean not Arena. Um, what's that? I guess Guild War, the tourneys, cross server battles. Just I mean. Since it's auto, you can't really, you don't know what's going on. I mean, it might not be good. I don't know. But as you can see here, this team, it takes, this. the battles are long just because I'm not using any high attacks heroes. Other than Pyrona. But she's not even high level rune at all. So, that team could be pretty fun. Um, team that, you know, you can level up. You know, it could be strong. You just really need to focus on your emblems. If you can have the, the amount of BR the same BR it would be pretty good so I'm gonna see if we can use another team I'm not gonna use her we'll use back Flora I mean Headless is definitely a hero that you want to level up for some reason King of Bones his skill that spending skill doesn't take in to consider defense it goes through your defense buffs it ignores every defense buff that your heroes have and it just it seems like it just hits pretty hard so night dwarf obviously another good hero to use you know light and voice e kind of easy to get here and there so nice and channel like i said is very good do not want to put it in front of panda maybe put it front here and let's see night blades so most of the majority of these heroes are pretty good the genie if you want to heal her earth shaker he can be a good front hero. We'll put it in front. Maybe in Panda. I'll we'll put it here. The reason why he could be good is he stuns. And it's, it's kind of annoying too. So if you want him and Lumia. You don't necessarily have to use Lumia. And I'm not going to use any sheep changing heroes. So all these other heroes aren't that great. I mean I know. Uh, what's his name? The Exorcist. He's pretty good. Because he can also silence their whole team and then unstun everybody else. Because he can't get stunned, can he? Not sure, I haven't really used him. Alright, let's just check out this team. Also, this he this guy here also beat me with my main team. And I had like 30k BR on top of that. So, really, it's all about your emblems and what heroes and how you position your heroes. I don't know if I position. See. Lumia always will stun the high attack hero. There you go. Silence King of Blades so you can't hurt me. And then Nice Nintendo is just going to pick everybody off. It's all about just leveling up all your good heroes. Lumia. Nice and Temple, you want to get those heroes. I mean, you, you can use Lumia. Some people say she's like kind of cheap. I guess she is. Just because, there you go, there's Earthshaker. So, this team here, you know, this is a free, all these heroes are free to get. 
and it might take a while to farm all of them, but eventually you have it. It shouldn't take that long, really. So as you can see, I haven't used any. It's really tough because my server is not that. You know, a lot of people, a lot of top players that were, I kind of passed, kind of left the game. So that's just another thing there. So let me see. We could probably go against this guy. So those are the heroes that I will level up. I'm gonna just go over them. So Knight Centennial, obviously he's in, he should be. I don't know how that maxed. Yeah, I have him maxed. I don't have him fully ruined. But Knight Centennial is the hero you want to get. As a child, Earthshaker can be good. I don't know. I don't see him very useful really. Uh, if you don't have other heroes, I'll definitely get them. So if you want to mess around with Blue Witch and Pyrona together. There can be, they can be a good deal, uh, that, okay, what's her name? It's not Christmas Lady. Claudia. She can be fun to use, I mean, if you're not level 70 yet, but at the same time, you probably had to spend quite a bit to get her, just because she was a Christmas event, and I don't even have her maxed, barely have her maxed, so, everything's level 70. So her... Pyrona Blue Witch can be fun with Lumia, and that can be a very good stall team. Let's see what else. Byron, I think, is good for like here, like the uh, guild bosses and stuff, guild war, whatever. Summoner, I believe her third skill change or something, it like increases damage. Yeah, so she's pretty strong too. So she's good for a third team, second team, and then until awakened heroes come out it's it's weird when awakens heroes come out because in the cn version everyone uses this 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 person uh once you get her awakened skill i think she increases defense like crazy knight centennial also gets an awakened skill that i believe heals himself which would be he would be a lot better than what he is now for that healing i think also all the heroes get awakened but I'm not sure how they're gonna do it for us. I'm not sure if they're gonna release all of them, of them that's awakened, or they're just gonna do four at a time like in that serv in the CM version. So, like I said, Knight Centennial, Elder Dwarf, Hellas, Lumia could be the good main team, main heroes to level up for if, if you don't uh, if you don't spend all that much because those heroes are pretty easy to get. Uh, Pyrona, Blue Witch can be maybe a good team just because you know you get sheep everywhere you know i showed you that and luna priest might be a tad bit harder to farm because she's you know to get her you need like chapter 13 and that could be pretty tough but she's a better healer um the bot that i did he heals great if you can control his skill like i said in tourney, you can't control his skill, so he's gonna heal and attack. And it can be pretty bad because when you mostly need to heal, he's part in attack mode and he's not gonna heal. So Luna Priest is good, the genie's good to level up. Astral Child is pretty good as well. Um, I've seen people use Mermaid, Earthshaker, so focus pretty much on, I would say, Knights and Tunnel definitely. And level up Elder Dwarf and another tank like Headless. And just let Knight Centennial do all the work. So just rune up pretty much all that. And I think that's it. Dark Paladin is another hero a lot of people use in the scene version when he's awakened. Uh, he, somehow I think he increases defense or something. So not sure. Not sure when they're going to release that soon. Hopefully they release it soon. But other than that, you, know, you don't really need these heroes up here. I mean, they're pretty cool to have. Sometimes I feel like after getting them. They're not as great as I expected, but it is what it is. So, out of all these heroes, I mean, Hellhound is pretty much free now. They gave it away pretty easy. Um, I think I don't even use Minotaur anymore. So, yeah, out of all these heroes, if you really, really want to focus on one, I would wait until they release this other hero. Um, it's a it's a mage. I believe someone posted it on the forums. It's in the it's actually a I think a guild mate of mine that posted it. 
already I uh, haven't tested her out there's a video probably on she revives her heroes uh, no matter how many she'll revive it as long as she's alive and she's a mage that hero I think would be one of the best heroes if you really 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 are trying to save up spend save your diamonds if not pandas pretty much I think one of the best heroes to get if you're looking for if you're willing to really want to get one of these the other heroes they're not really all that great the only reason why you want these other heroes is for your emblems anyway and you pretty much just need them to three star and usually they these events they do they give it away sooner or later they're gonna probably give it away because there's gonna always be another hero another hero it's pretty much how these games work so hopefully that helped you guys out and um, my emblems are not that good but I think they're okay. Uh, everyone in the tourney obviously has them at least level 6, all of them, because I can't even get number 1. I did get number 1, but I sniped it too late. I waited too. I think I, yeah, I did it like within a minute and then it wasn't, I should have waited till like 30 seconds left. But anyway, other than that, um, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully I'll do some other videos with, you know, these other heroes that once I get them up, leveled up and you can start from there